Get it on and welcome to the Six Figure MLM Dad Show. I'm a father of two kids, born and raised in a small town in northern Vermont. I'm a biz coach and a self-proclaimed lifestyle preneur. I help people go from ordinary to awesome by creating a lifestyle of time and financial freedom with their own MLM business. All online, without ever bugging friends or family, and without having to be some techie nerd. In this show, I'm going to be documenting my journey to six figures and beyond, as well as showing you exactly what I'm doing to build my downline completely online. My name is Jeremy Jordan. You're listening to the Six Figure MLM Dad Show, and the best is yet to come. Yo, what is going on? Jeremy Jordan here. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. It has been a minute, all right? It, you know, literally longer than a minute, but boy, it's been a while since I've done this show here. Whether you're listening on iTunes as a podcast or whether you're watching the, the video here on YouTube, thanks so much. If you can see my face, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you for sticking around, and I know it's been some time. I'm going to get into some things here, and welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time here, this is awesome. I'm totally, we're going to get into some information on why I'm saying welcome back. If you've never, you know, if if you've never been here, if this is your first time, I do have some other episodes here. So let's dive into what the heck is going on, Jeremy. Where have you been? What's been going on? It's been six months since you've done an episode here of the Six Figure MLM Dad. All right. And we're going to get into it. A lot has changed, my friends. And that is part of the reason for my absence, the MIA. I've been alive. I've been around. I've been doing YouTube videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, let's get into what's going on? You know, welcome back. Welcome. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. And so a little backstory here uh, for a little refresher. And then that will tie in very nicely to what's going on today and moving forward. So backstory, I'm going to get real. I'm going to get raw. That's what the show is about. It's about no BS. I'm the real deal. This is my show and we're going to discuss things here. So Original, my original concept here for this show, for the six figure MLM dad show, I, I wanted to document my journey, you know, in MLM, I've been in MLM for many years and my original idea, I've haven't seen anybody do this yet, you know, and it's, it's, it's awesome. The idea was to document my journey, you know, like Gary Vaynerchuk talks about my first episodes here that I was doing before I took my hiatus was all about that. I was, I was sharing my journey. My original concept was to document my journey from zero to six figures in MLM, how I'm doing it, showing what I'm doing, the whole nine yards. Now the little side piece to that, that, you know, I didn't really get into was I was already at the point of, doing my show and and producing content and getting into that whole thing, I was already very successful with the MLM that I was with. Now, if you didn't see me on the video, I I did quotations. When I say with, that is, there's a lot of emphasis there because that is the idea for why I took a hiatus and why I'm back. So I say was, meaning that's no longer the company that I'm with. And that's a perfect segue into this, you know, rehashing, if you will, of this, of this show. I love this show. I've, I, even though I haven't been doing it for six months, I've been getting feedback. I've been having people contact me, which is perfect. Um, and I realized this is stupid. I, I got to do this show again. So what happened? I, I was, you know, I was with an MLM, successful with that company. And then I wanted to start documenting my journey. Now I was changing what I was doing with the company. So I was kind of, you know, I was building my MLM a different way. So I thought, Hey, that's a perfect time for me to start documenting my journey, following in what some mentors that, that I was learning from what they're teaching. 
I was kind of, you know, starting to build my MLM that way using different strategies online. Now, I got into, so I wanted to document it. Now, I was already successful with that company, so it wasn't like I was giving it a fresh start. And I, I explained that a little bit in my first episodes of this show here. But what happened? So over the course of the last year, oh boy, it's here we go. I'm going to get raw. I'm going to get into some, not a ton of details just for compliance and stuff like that. But the company, the MLM company that I was with, they didn't like, let's just be honest, the, they didn't like marketing online. And there are some companies around that are still old school. They're still stuck in their ways, you know, can't teach an old dog new tricks. (laughs) That's the way I look at it. The company didn't like and probably just didn't understand online marketing and, you know, sales funnels and things like that and and attraction marketing, more or less, things like that. So the problem that I had was I started doing a lot more online marketing. I started doing a lot more attraction marketing and the company was, you know, we just started butting heads, if you will. And I built up a very successful nationwide distribution team for that company. I was at the top of the compensation plan and they, they were just hounding me. And after four years, I started realizing, hey, listen, you know, I, I didn't get into MLM to be told what to do, you know, be, you know, I, I'm my own man. I, I wanted this for the freedom. I want to be able to build my business. And that's, that's a huge, that's a huge thing for MLM because, you know, anybody in MLM, if you're listening to this and you can relate, uh, you know, raise your hand. I'm sure, you know, I I wish I could see you, but I'm sure somebody's going to relate to this where they're in an MLM and the company is telling them what to do. Now, if it goes against compliance, I totally understand. Like you shouldn't be doing, you know, any sort of claims, you know, whatever it might be. There are rules. I was not breaking any of those rules. I've always been completely compliant. I just wanted to do things a little differently, you know, new age, you know, outside of the bug and friends family, make a list, you know, three way calls and, and do what your sponsor says, or, you know, do as I, as I say, not as I do, you know, th- those sort of approaches. All right. So this company is just not, that company was just not favoring online space. Maybe in the years to come, maybe they might catch up to it, yada, yada, yada. But for time's sake, I left that company. So about six months ago, I, I left that company. I got tired of Every day, hey, Jeremy, what are you doing? You know, and trying to explain, and they didn't get it. So I don't want to go into too much details about that. So I left that company. Left with a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth. You know, I I love the industry. It's been so great for me. You know, and it's just, I love the idea. I love the business model. Been doing it a long time. But I left with a bad taste in my mouth. And I said, you know what? I'm going to take some break. You know, some time off, I should say. (laughs) You know, I'm going to take a break from this whole MLM thing. I'm going to work on some other things, you know, I, I can, I can hang on for a little while. I'm, I'm cool. I was, um, before I completely left, you know, I was, you know, getting the residuals every month. So I, I was cool. I completely ended up saying, you know, I'm, I'm not re-upping. I'm, I'm just leaving, taking time off. And I wasn't sure if, you know, at that point, six, you know, at the at time of this episode here, this was a little bit beyond six months ago, but I said, you know, I'm, I'm done with this whole thing. I just, I don't know. I just got a bad taste in my mouth. I, I don't like it. I'm, I'm, I'm quitting MLM, so to speak. Well, time goes on, and I, w- I started going through a little period of change. You know, I, it's like I like affiliate marketing, things like that, which MLM affiliate marketing, it's the same thing, guys. I mean, I'm not going to, that's a whole nother podcast episode, video episode, but whatever it might be. So I started doing more affiliate marketing. And if you've been following me on YouTube, you see I've been, I've been consistently putting videos on YouTube, just not doing this whole show like this. And it wasn't MLM, it was affiliate marketing programs, which was cool. Well, about a month ago, a little less than a month ago, 
got bit by the bug again. I got bit by the MLM bug again, okay? Um, I started seeing some things. I got contacted by a mega leader in the online marketing space. So, tra- you know, in the affiliate marketing, MLM, you know, that space. And I, I got contacted and I saw that he was in pursuit of a new company and he was doing his whole thing and, you know, it, it sounded cool. So I started taking a look at it. And lo and behold, I just, I fell in love. I'm not a products guy. I've never been a products guy. Even with my, my previous MLM that, you know, that I did very well with, I'm just not a products guy. All right. I don't get hyped up on the products. I was an opportunity guy and that's what I was with that company. And however, with this company, uh, I decided to try the products first. And I'm not going to go into what MLM I'm with and and pitching and all that sort of stuff. That's not what the purpose of this podcast is. I'm not going to disclose any of that stuff. I'm not even going to talk about what the products are. I just, I loved the products. I started using them and I love them. They, you know, they work the way they're supposed to. It it is a physical product, which was cool. And, um, you know, I just, I love the products. But then I saw the marketing system they had in play and may had one of the most robust one of the one of the best marketing systems that i've ever seen and i said you know what i love this whole thing like the 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 leadership is fantastic and what i really enjoyed was they are completely friendly to online marketers like their whole business is built around online marketing so i said boy you know what the bug has bit me again like i said I decided to join this new company. So I completely joined this new company, and this was just within the last couple of weeks. So at the date, whenever you're listening to this, whenever you're seeing this on YouTube, this brand new six figure MLM dads episode, just t- within the last two weeks, I say a week at the time of this recording. Yeah, it's been about a week. I joined this brand new company. So I am back in the MLM game, and this is a perfect time for me to start back up this podcast, this this series, and that's that's what this whole thing is about. Perfect time because now I'm going to be documenting a brand new journey at the bottom from scratch with a brand new company, and I'm going to do it right this time. I'm going to document the journey right this time for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm doing to build a brand new company. I'm not successful with this company yet. I just started with this company a week ago. So now it's prime time. You know, now now is when this is going to make sense because this is do or die for me. This is I'm going to be building this and I'm going to do it live just like this, documenting every single week what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, what's working, what's not working. And I'm a You know, I'm a bit crap in my pants right now. I'm shitless right now because, uh, you know, yes, I'm using some language. This is me. This is the real deal. And I'm like, if I fail, it's going to suck because everybody's going to see it. And this is going to be a true test for me being a, you know, just northern Vermont, being a little old guy up here that just loves MLM, going to start over from scratch from zero to six figures, documenting my journey. I don't care how long it takes. I don't know how long it's going to take with this company. Uh, I know what I did with the last company. This company's, you know, like I said, it's got products. It's got in-demand products. It's got a marketing system, the whole nine yard, yada, yada, yada. Starting over from scratch, doing this brand new show here. It's going to be awesome. You know, so what can you expect? I'm done rambling and I'm, I'm free, free flowing with this new episode here. Just, just to get some stuff off my chest, just to be real connect, no pitching, no selling, nothing. I don't even have the website set up for this yet. So that's another thing I'm going to talk about. Uh, we're, I'm currently building out a brand new website for this, you know, so I can get there. So you guys can connect with me, get on my new blog, all this, I took all that old stuff down, you know, and now we're rebuilding from scratch. So as I, I've got a few things coming down the pipeline, I'm going to be walking through them here on this show. What can you expect? Just a raw look, you know, just 
me being real, raw, connecting with you here, building an MLM completely from scratch, you know, for real this time. You know, I haven't I haven't made a single dollar with this brand new company. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be transparent, showing you what the heck is going on and how you can do it in a new age without bugging friends and family, without three-way calls, without, you know, the old approaches. I'm not going to Panera Bread sitting there talking to people. I'm doing it completely online and automating about 99% of the whole process. My journey from zero to six figures, like I said, no matter how long it takes, I'm just going to be documenting it. And I hope I get there because I'm going to look stupid if I don't. So (laughs) whatever, but that's the way it is, all right? Showing you what works. And this is going to help me be accountable, keep myself accountable week in, week out, making sure that I'm doing what I got to do doing my activities because I'm going to be sharing. I'm going to be documenting. I'm going to be posting my notes. You know, I've got my notes right here for this, for this here. Um, I'm free flowing it, but I just got some bullet points. I want to make sure I hit, you know how it is. Brand new website. Like I said, currently working on it. That'll be up. I'll tell you exactly when that's up. uh, So you can go check that out. I'll have the podcast there and I'll have uh, some other things, some resources that you can check out. But that is it. I'm back. Brand new show here. We're going to be doing this every week. So you can count on an, a brand new episode every single week. Catch it on YouTube. Catch it on iTunes. If you are listening to either one, wherever you're listening, I should say, give me a thumbs up. You know, Give me a like if you like this content. If you want to follow along. If you're brand new to MLM. If you haven't joined it. Whatever it might be. If you just want to listen to me ramble tell occasional jokes, show what's going on. You know, maybe you might learn something. I hope you do. Give me a thumbs up. Like I said, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe either on iTunes or on YouTube. Leave a comment. Send me a message. Uh, My Facebook, you can connect with me on Facebook, uh, on YouTube. Drop a comment. I respond to everything. I'll get back to you. Um, I want to end the show here a little differently than I normally did before, but couple of my favorite quotes. This is my first one back here. So my favorite quotes to end this show. Number one, never give up. That's my, that is my absolute favorite quote. I live by that quote. Never give up. You know, just keep hustling. All right. And second, my new favorite quote, especially leading into the brand new year, the brand new decade, 2020 here, the best is yet to come. That's it for today, my friends. Make sure you connect with me on Facebook. Subscribe to su- subscribe. Like I said, wow, I'm not even going to edit that. That's that's real time. That's me stumbling over my own words. All right, this is on YouTube. This is on iTunes. This will be everywhere eventually. So subscribe to either channel so then you know exactly when I publish new episodes. Follow along. I'm excited. I'm a little bit scared, like I said, but tune in. No. No training on this one. This is just a welcome back because I've got people that are asking me, hey, what's going on? Where have you been? And I feel like crap because I want to serve. I want to serve you better. I want to put out this content. And I didn't. I, I just never realized people are, are there. People want to see this. And, and this is helping somebody. So consistent content every single week. I'll be back next week. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you so much for listening to the Six Figure MLM Dads podcast. Please feel free to leave a rating and review on iTunes. Oh, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and you stay up to date with the latest strategies I'm using to grow my downline and explode my MLM 100% online.